It is day two in my Christmas countdown series and today I will be reviewing for you the Francesca Bianchi fragrances. I picked the two most popular choices which were Lover's Tale and Sex and the Sea. So if you'd like to know my thoughts on these fragrances then make sure to keep on watching. I ordered a Francesca Bianchi discovery set online and I've tried all the fragrances within the line and I will first begin by saying that these fragrances are not my style. I'm not a fan of these perfumes at all and usually when I review fragrances I review perfumes that you know I would wear myself and that's why I want to recommend them for you but since you asked to get my thoughts on this line well I'm giving you my thoughts, but I wouldn't personally wear these scents. Let me give you some information in terms of Francesca Bianchi and how the fragrances are. These perfumes are all super concentrated and very, very strong. The fragrances are dense, they're thick, and they also feel or smell very natural. So when I mean they smell natural is that often I find that I can pick out certain natural ingredients and they really feel as if they came from their natural form, which is absolutely incredible. Also, one thing to point out is that the concentration of these scents are within an extrait de parfum. And so an extrait de parfum is the highest oil to alcohol concentration within fragrances. And usually they are pretty expensive because you have a higher concentration of oil. Now, one thing that I will say, which is really nice about this brand is that the perfumes are still relatively affordable for using an extrait de parfum. I believe they're under 100 euros for 30 ml. Now remember, with extrait de parfum, because it is so concentrated, you really don't need that many sprays. Just a really little bit goes a long way. And trust me, with these fragrances, you only need like a drop to make an impact. I think that Francesca Bianchi fragrances are for those of you who are really into niche. You have explored fragrances like Zoologist. So those type of niche perfumes that are difficult to wear, they're challenging fragrances, extremely creative, but very challenging. So I'll begin with Lover's Tail. Lover's Tail, I can even smell it from here is a, a leather fragrance. It is very, very, very strong. Like really, really strong leather. It is super potent, very thick, very dense. It's really intoxicating. And that's really all you can smell is the leather. The leather is coupled with some jasmine, some fruits as well and some castorium. What you get from the jasmine is really the carnal animalistic side. And in this perfume, it certainly smells more in the beast-like territory. And coupled with the castorium, which is an animalic note, this perfume is to me a leathery, fruity, animalic fragrance. It's, I mean, it really does smell beastly. To me, this smells like as if you were on a farm and you were surrounded by jasmine bushes. This is what this fragrance smells like. I'm sorry if you like this perfume, but to me, this is what I smell. I'm not trying to trash this scent, by the way, but it is very potent. So I try to give you like a visualization of how potent this scent is. In terms of occasion, I would say probably winter time when it's really cold, winter, night time, that is when I would wear it and only just one two sprays max. So that was my take on Lover's Tale. Okay, so Sex and the Sea. This perfume is meant to recreate the moment of, you know, being at the beach, there's coconut tanning lotion, your skin is sticky from being out all day in the sun. That is kind of what this fragrance replicates. Now, one thing to know with this scent is that it is not your typical coconut perfume. This perfume is, first of all, it's easier to wear than Lover's Tale. I think this is one that more people will gravitate towards. This fragrance is a warm, ambery, fruity, salty fragrance. It's difficult to describe because you can't really 
pick out certain notes. It's more of like a mishmash cocktail of ingredients that overall give a warm, ambery impression with some fruity undertones. This is meant to smell like sticky, sweaty skin. So you have like sand that is stuck to your skin after spending the day there, probably mixed with some like lotion as well. It feels a little bit dirty, but in a good way. So that is what it smells like. You get some sort of tropical undertone from the scent as well. It doesn't really come out as like say coconut or pineapple or something like that. It's really more of like a tutti fruity, tropical fruity feeling. And it's certainly a twist on your tropical beachy type of fragrances. Very, very different. This is a scent that yes, you can wear in the summer, although I would not wear it on a super hot or humid day. I would wear this more in the evening. So a summer night out, this fragrance would be the most appropriate. And finishing off this review with the performance of the two fragrances, both of them last a really long time. They're an x-ray concentration, they are strong, <laughs> they will project like crazy. So they are, you know, I guess a 10 out of 10 if you think about performance and this is important to you. They are, they really do pack a punch, these fragrances, for sure. So if you're a hardcore niche lover and you're looking to differentiate yourself through your scent and you want something that is super different, have a sniff of Francesca Bianchi fragrances. There is this discovery set on the Francesca Bianchi website, which includes all the fragrances, so you can discover all the scents from the collection, which is super nice, and within your own time as well. So that was my review on Francesca Bianchi. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of uh, her fragrances. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow in another video. Bye.